Hey everyone, there have been many new pirates entering the Sea of Thieves in 2020. And even if you're a veteran pirate, or someone who hasn't played the game in a while, we're going over everything that you need to know while pirating on the high seas. If you've never played Sea of Thieves before, you will have to go through the Maiden Voyage, a tutorial that will show you how to access your equipment, repair and sail your ship, and even dig up some treasure. Once completed, you'll be free to sail with all other pirates in adventure mode. Sea of Thieves has three types of ships that you can sail on. Each of them has their own advantages and disadvantages, as well as a maximum crew size. I'll go over the disadvantages and advantages of having and sailing each of the three ships in a later video. The first ship we have is the Sloop. This is the smallest of the three and has a maximum crew size of two. But don't worry, sloops are also made to be handled easily by any of you solo players out there. Next we have the Brigantine, also known as the Brig for short. This ship has the maximum crew size of three pirates. However, an experienced duo can handle the ship just as well. And finally we have the Galleon. This is a massive ship with three levels inside. It can hold a maximum crew of four pirates and requires the most teamwork to handle efficiently. Keep in mind that once you select your ship and embark on a voyage, you will not be able to switch ship types while playing without starting all over. It's best to figure out your crew size first and then select the appropriate ship. When you first load into the map, it is a good idea to stock up on supplies. This means going through as many barrels on your outpost and looking for wood, food, cannonballs, and even those disgusting worms, but only if you're into fishing. Your pirate can only hold so much of each item at one time, so if you've got crew members, then make sure they're pulling their weight. If you open up your pirate's inventory menu, you will see your various currencies on the top right of the screen. The first currency we're going to go over is gold. This is your basic currency in Sea of Thieves. It's what you will use to pay for all customization options in game minus microtransactions. And this is the money that you will earn from completing voyages and handing in treasures. Next up, we have doubloons. This currency is obtained by completing commendations. You can check these in your menus under reputation by selecting the various different factions. These reward varying amounts of doubloons and can have different levels of rewards. The balloons can be used with Lorena to purchase various voyages and other ship and clothing items. And finally, Ancient Coins. This is your microtransaction currency. It can be used in the Pirate Emporium to pay for pets, emotes, and other special ship customizations. There are seven outposts all over the Sea of Thieves. They all have different layouts, but the buildings are the same. First of all, we have the Shipwright. Located on the dock, this is where you can purchase ship customization options. Next is the Equipment Shop. This is where you purchase different looks for your tools, such as your shovel, compass, or musical instruments. The General Clothing Shop is where you can purchase clothing and vanity items to change the way your pirate looks. The Weaponsmith has all sorts of different looks for your weapons, including your cutlass. The tavern is where you initially spawn in. You can refill your ship's grog, chat with the mysterious stranger for the first tall tale, and purchase things from Lorena. And finally, the Pirate Emporium is where you spend your ancient coins to buy pets, emotes, and special ship sets. If you made it this far, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to check out the next video in this guide where I'm going to talk about the main factions, their mission types, and how to embark on a voyage. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of this content. And don't forget to stop by my Twitch. Links are all in the description. Say hi and enjoy some more Sea of Thieves content there.